Hello everyone, I'm Deb Courtney. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm doing videos on being, being able to take ideas and develop them into being and having a life that is perfect for yourself. Like I said in all the other videos, or maybe maybe not all of them, but my intention is your definition of perfect and my definition of perfect are totally different. It's totally different for, for every individual. And you know, sometimes we have had people to come up to us and say, wow, you're such a great gal of character. I really like you. I, I'm so thankful the way you live your life and how you do life. And so these are thoughts, ideas, and suggestions that I have written down that have helped me in my life. And I want to pass them on to you. That's what these last, I don't know, four or five, six videos have been about. Some of these you may already know. Uh, some of these you may not know. Some of these you've never thought about it like that. So hopefully you can glean something from each individual video. Today's video has to do with openness. So the first one I wrote down has to do with accepting. I wrote down, I don't resist what is so. I let people be who they are and I, I embrace that. Now, there are some people that I wish they weren't the way they were. However, if they're, <laughs> hey, I used to be there. But, I, you know, as life goes on and we go through trials and tribulations, disappointments, tragedies, things of that nature, that molds us into something else. I have noticed that it comes in about like five-year increments. And I think I may have mentioned this in previous video that, you know, when you're 20, you don't think like you did when you were 15. And when you're 25, you really don't think like you did when you were 20. And, and on and on and on. And there's just something, and I have really been intentional in paying attention to this and the, these five years that's trans been, that's been transitioning for me. And so it really does take about five years. Used to years ago, it, it, it took longer, but time's going so fast. It, if everything's kind of speeded up, what you might say. So I have noticed that you, the transition takes about five years. And so that's what I'm talking about when accepting. Now there are some, when I let people be who they are, sometimes you have to let people be who they are until, until you, and, and, until you have to do, until you do like some things that I had to do. I had to get a real, a for real good awakening in regards to some things that I did that was just was not too, uh, pardon the old Southern expression, purdy, <laughs> but I, but you know, I, I did it. And so I, I, I paid the consequences for it. And so, um, this helps me to, when I know what I've been through, just because somebody's right where they're at now doesn't mean they'll always be where they're at forever. Okay? So that's that's what that's what that part of accepting um means to me. Okay? And and intuitive. The second one is intuitive. I listen to the little hunches and voices inside of myself and I try to trust myself. A lot of times I have put in I've learned to put, put certain uh, steps, certain gates, it, whether or not, is this a good one to, to walk, walk through? And I think you have to uh, put a certain amount of uh, that in place because we know ourselves better than anyone else knows us. And we know what our weaknesses and what our faults are and what our addictions are and how far we can go with something before we really go over the tipping point with something. So, you know, you really, it, it, being intuitive to yourself is really a good thing. Um, listening to your hunches and the little voices inside, that, 
that that can work, you know, do this, or they can say, don't do this. So it works either way. And sometimes you just have to go out and investigate things before you really take that hunch that you've got and put it into action, you know, put feet, put, put feet with it. So that's what I'm talking about when being intuitive. Um, aware, are you aware? Understanding what awareness is and I, are, are you on the path of becoming a more of an aware person? And that can be not just in, not like in aware of what's going on in the world and or what's going on in, in and around you locally, like at your job um, or your community or, or in your house. Being aware of what's going on inside of yourself. Because I've said in the past videos, uh, you have to live with yourself before you live with anybody else. And so you really need to understand, do I really have the awareness about myself? Is my mindset where it needs to be? Am I? Is my perception about certain topics where they need to be? Is this something that I can investigate or look into or broaden my thinking in regards to this? Do I really need to get my thinking up in regards to this? Or what it, situation, whatever it is? Awareness, okay? Willing. That's the next one I wrote. Am I willing to try or to help? And that could be, are you willing to try to do things for yourself better? For others? That's what that, that's what that really means. You know, a lot of times we have um, extenuating, extenuating circumstances that are beyond our control and a lot of different things. Uh, things that we've talked about in all these videos uh, that we um, sometimes, sometimes we're willing, but our flesh isn't. Sometimes spiritually inside we're willing, but our, but our, our, we know better about things. Some, sometimes I'm willing to help a person, but their track record is not uh, really isn't where it needs to be with me and it could be with somebody else and so I'm not willing to go there but and it's for the my betterment um next one is adventurous do you seek new people ideas activities and projects and go for it do it, it and that has to sometimes it has to be intentional uh but, you know, being adventurous, take take the trip. Um, take the um, skydiving at 60, 65, <laughs> 80, you know, go do that. If that's what you, something that you want, if that's on your bucket list and you think, man, I've, I've got the confidence that I can do that, you know, take that white water rafting trip when you're 40 years of age, you know, think, being adventurous. Seeking out stuff, you'll be surprised at the world that will open up for you if you just do it. Go for it. Spiritually, do you have the value of um, knowing that where you're at spiritually is a good place? Do you have the? Uh, 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 do you have the? Uh, let's see here. Do you have do you have the knowledge of knowing that there is a spiritual world out there? There are more than once there is a there is a good spiritual world and there is an evil spiritual world. And do you know the difference between them? And if not, how can you discern that? What is that? What is it going to take for you to know that? Have you investigated that? And becoming spiritually sound in yourself of how you were uniquely and wonderfully created. These, this is very important to every individual is where are you at spiritually and finding that out. Visual. Uh, do you see what's around you? Do you look at what's around you? And how do you respond to what you visually see around you? What does that look like? And if it's not particularly 
a good vision, if it's not a particularly a good visual for you, then is there something that you can do to help it? Those are things that you have to think about. It, it, it could be something like an animal shelter, or it could be a, an being an advocate for a child in the, the court system, things of that nature. Um, it, it could be, before I go on, it could be a number of different things. And, and what I say is I see what's all around me and, and you fully respond to it. Um, you know, a lot of things that we see on TVs like um, the AS, the um, ASPCA, the animal situation there, the uh, wounded warriors. There's different advocacy groups that we see in, at, you know, different times in our life. And do you really take a look at that? Or do you respond to it? Or, you know what? This happens for different people. Let me say this also. It happens for what you might, you might not can do it now, but you may can do it later. But you just don't beat yourself up about it. We you know, there, there, nobody likes to see hurting children. Nobody likes to see hurting people. Nobody likes to respond, likes to, re, likes to see that happen. Um, and sometimes you say, well, I can't do it now, but I can do it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just do what you can to uh, fully respond to what you can see around you. Um, let's see, being creative, great ideas. Does, does great ideas come to you or, and you don't have to create them? Okay. Then you, being open about that, sharing that. And a lot of times, a lot of times we have a great idea. And if we just share that with somebody, somebody that doesn't have that idea or is not as good as you, as far as being creative is concerned, they can say, oh yeah, I'd like to get on board with that, with you. I've done that quite a few times in, in, in my um, past. And it really gets people connected and think, well, I hadn't thought about it like that. Mm, I'm glad you saw it that way. I didn't really see it that way. You know what I mean? Uh, being flexible, to be able to adjust quickly and readily. There are some people that can live, I mean, very flexible. And then there are some people that just like the status quo. Just, they just, they got a, they got a regiment down. And this is what I do. I get up at a certain time. I go to bed at a certain time. I eat at a certain time. And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's part of your personal foundation and you're perfect, living the perfect life, if it works for you, it works for me. The next one is present oriented. Living in the present. Living here and now. Not living in yesterday and not living in the future. You have to stay in the moment of where you're at right now. You will live a whole lot better life if you do that. You won't be as worried as much. You won't be as anxious as much. You won't have anxiety about things, worrying about how we're going to do this, how the world's going to look like this, and, and, and then regrets about what you, I should have, could have, would have done yesterday. I didn't do it, dadgummit. You know what I mean? No, live in the moment, live in the present, and you'll be a whole lot, oh, believe me, a whole lot better off. I hope you was able to glean something about this video that had to do with, with openness about your surroundings, about yourself, about society, the world, because the world seems to be getting smaller. And so we're all connected different ways at different times, you know. So anyways, I hope you, I'm glad you found me. I'm glad I found you. I hope this was an encouragement to you. All these videos are to be an encouragement to you and to think, to think about things. So I'll see you again next week. Go out and make it a great day.